Today we're going to preview some of the songs from our new album, and I'm going to talk to you about my musical inspirations. Hey folks, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, we're happy to have you and welcome. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? As you may already know, we're in the middle of recording our fourth album. And a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about the reasons why I love to sing. This week, we're going to hear from Bracken about his musical inspirations. We're also going to share a sneak peek of a few of the songs we've been working on. So let's go on a walk and see if we can find Bracken. This is our favorite rock. It is. It's a good one. We spend a lot of time on this rock. It's probably kind of noisy though because of the stream behind us. Yeah, and this is a super exciting day because we are finishing up the album uh, almost entirely today, which is really, really good. I'm looking forward to spending my mental energy on other things. Let's find a slightly quieter place. Okay. How do you feel this uh, album project has sort of developed? I feel pretty good about it. I think um, it's definitely like a very creative and eclectic album. and Very eclectic. There's just a, a variety of styles and... And I would say that largely... You're gonna talk. You wanna, you wanna say something? I would say largely the songs are developed based on what instruments we choose to use which maybe we'll get down to the studio and yeah. talk a little bit about that. Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the, the song creation process is much like making uh, a painting or a recipe. You start with basic ingredients and then as you add and develop the song, there's various colors, hues, uh, spices, and other things that come into the mix and just can totally change you know, the feel of the song. And we have an idea of what we want the songs to sound like maybe a few core instruments to use, uh, but at the end of the day, we just have to sort of enter into a creative flow and let the music speak for itself and really support the lyrics, which is your department. So, before we head inside, one of the, the best musical instruments we have on this album is our little boys choir. You guys like to sing? Yeah. Yeah. The boys are singing on a few of the songs. Uh, Ezzy has a solo on one of the songs. That's a good one. And we'll share a sneak peek of a couple of those songs with you here in just a little bit. So we're going to head off and I'll leave you with Bracken for the rest of this vlog. But I'll be back next week for another vlog. Head out in the hedges and find the ones who can't repay. Invite them in to stay. You know, there's a story behind every single one of the instruments in this studio. And I'm only telling you this because I want you to know that we really can't do this alone. We rely on the Lord's provision and He has provided for us immensely. So I'll show you a few of the instruments we're using on the album and then I'll share a few songs with you. Here we go. It all starts right here on the acoustic guitar. This was given to us by Lindsay's dad. Then we hold down the bottom end with this bass guitar, which I got super cheap. Believe it or not, the drums are my primary instrument, so a lot of the songs are, are very rhythmic. Uh, these were given to us by an anonymous donor in town. Then we typically add keyboards next. I have two keyboards. We might add in a little mandolin. This was provided to us by Lindsay's dad as well. We also might add in a little ukulele from time to time. This was given to us by a viewer on our YouTube channel. The electric guitar is something we use sparingly for background ambient kind of sounds. Uh, and this is also a super cheap guitar. The banjo also made it on the album. This was given to us by 
Lindsay's dad. And this is my cheesy white saxophone. I think I paid less than $100 for this on Craigslist and it made it on the album as well. <laughs> we have a variety of hand drums and a box of percussion. Here's a wall of flutes. Uh, a few of these made it on the album. This was given to us by a YouTube viewer and we were thankful to put it to good use. This is an octave mandolin. So it's a mandolin but tuned an octave lower and slightly larger. So how many instruments can I play? First, I see instruments in four categories. Those with strings, those with keys, those that you blow on, and those that you hit. And I can play a little bit in each of those categories. And worst case scenario is I'll just retune the whole instrument to into something that, that makes sense. So I don't really know how to play all of the instruments, but I can make all of the instruments play, if that makes sense. So I'm afraid I don't have a solid answer on how many instruments I can play, but I can tell you what instruments I don't play. I don't play anything that you bow. But I happen to have a friend who's a professional fiddle player. That song right there is actually the one that kicked off this whole album project. It's called My Dear Children, and it is one of our favorite. It's gonna be the, the uh, first track on the album. So we're kicking it off with a little bit of a punch. Okay, that's gonna be it for us this week. I hope you have been uh, blessed, encouraged, inspired to go out, use your giftings, whatever they may be, to bring glory to our Heavenly Father and His blessed Son, Jesus. And we will see you next week for another vlog. We love you guys, and God bless you. For unless the Lord builds this house, we labor in vain. This frail body is the temple of the Lord. So I'll sacrifice my heart and soul for the glory of your name. I will build for you